Hello there. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a database after you have created a model, logical model and physical model in Irwin. I am using, as you can see that I have already am using the Irwin and I have created this insurance logical model. This is not a complete model but it's just it's good enough to show it to you the insurance model and you can see here there are types and subtypes and there is also views here and other things and there are also audit tables and because there is audit tables so there may be there are also are triggers here and I am going to show you the model explorer and let's go to the because I have already created it and I will show once you have created the logical model then you can create the physical model and if you say the physical model you can just go here but this is our physical model so I am going to just show it to you this is the complete physical model as it is and you can see these are the views in these colors like light yellow and then you have lot of subtypes and many other things the idea is not about how to do data model but how to use Erwin and if you see here basically if you see here there is a database rows and let me show you something else here it is database and this is the insurance database I have created and it has many file groups file group 1, file group 2, file group 3, file group 4, primary, primary FG2 and there is permission and physical files and if you see there is also a physical pass insurance log and you can look at here for the physical files and you can see insurance of course it has taken a long time to create it but I'm going to show it to you the details and then there are triggers and there is a database trigger and there are domain you can see there is a domain is existing here then there is a full text catalog also here because it's a SQL server as you can see I have created a catalog and if you want to see there is schema I have not created any schema I have just used a DVO schema let me show it to you when I say tables you can see the schema is basically in all the DVO as you can see and if you want to see the indexes you can see the indexes because the indexes have been created with the name given by the Irwin so it remains as it is in one of two index I have used it and of course I have actually you have to select the options many other things but that is not my idea to in this video to show you how to use Irwin but how to once you have created a model how you can actually create a database with it so once you have created the physical model and you have all the triggers and the views and the norms and uh, whatever you want to add like in the first example and even I have a partition scheme as you can see I have created one partition also and I will show it to you in the table if you want to see the partition partition has to be there if you see the tables, I will show you the partitions, partitions, let's go and see, look at the partition, properties, and you can see the partition is basically on the policies, and it says the boundary, it is 1, 1, 2012, 2000, this is left and this is right. If you understand the SQL server, then you understand what is the partition, then you can you will also understand. Remember that the partition may or may not give you more benefits for the performance, but then it is for very, very large database. You can use partitioning of the, but in this example, I have shown it to you that everything is there exactly as it is. All the SQL tables are there, as you can see there and then you can see the some of the tables also have the triggers I'll just show it to you 
and let me show you the triggers let me show you the customer if you go to the customer and there is a trigger and you see you can trigger customer and if you want to see it you can go to the properties and this is the code actually here you are seeing the code and if you want to see the trigger this is the trigger anyway that's the basic fundamental of the Erwin so once I have created now I can create uh, there's also preview and post script not in everyone and but in some of the places but i will not go into that details and i will show you something and if you want to see the partition function here the partition function is here and let's go and schema generation but in this case i will just preview it as you can see but i have missed one thing that is when you are going to create you have to select every details. I am going to select the create database and I am going to say preview. Once it preview means I have the database and what I am going to do I am just going to copy this because sometimes the Irwin has a problem because of the permissions. So I will just go and cut this thing and paste it in a SQL server and then I will come back here and I will show it to you new new query as you can see new query I will just go to the master database and if you see here this is the master database and I will just run this SQL and it will create a database for the insurance and once we have this database for the insurance I can refresh it and I can see that the database for the insurance is here and if I want to see the properties I can see it and then there's a file and the file groups as you can see they exist and there are a lot of file groups I've created and I'll just close it ok and then now I can actually I do not need it so I can say ok preview it and let me show it to you preview so that no this thing is available and once once I have done it then I can actually look at the details of what I have selected and then I can but do not think it may always work sometimes there is a problem so you have to just see which is creating a problem and why it's creating a problem for when you selected some option it may not create that it may not execute that a part of the SQL and it may give you a and I've just selected this everything and you can see here as you can see everything is by default created and I'm going to select generate and this time I'm going to type the database that just I created insurance and I'm still going to say connect and you can see this executed and some of them has failed because of the problem but normally it doesn't have a problem because I will show it to you it, it, it will still work just let's show it to you sometimes it creates a problem but that is not a really a big problem let's let's go and look at which part created a problem this is the trigger so I'll just remove this trigger and I'll just copy it and keep it I go to the SQL server and I'll say new query and just paste it there and I'll say continue and this just one query has failed and though it has failed it doesn't matter I will just run this query here and it has got executed and you can see all the tables have been created in the SQL server as you are seeing the database insurance and lot of and you can see the views have been created and you can also see the synoms synoms are not there so again if you want to see the storage full text catalog is there partition scheme is there partition function is there 
pull pull text pull stop list is not there okay and then we have some triggers also so if you are going to look at the programmability of the so you can look at some stored procedures and database triggers you can see the trigger is there and that's it i think so you have understood what is how you have to create a database from the irvin thank you very much for watching bye bye